and this is sacrificial material that gets thrown away, right? You take it away, uh, you carve it off with a knife or something like that, uh, but it, it is laid down layer by layer in order to support these other bits of uh, model that you're printing. So that's a really important thing to think about as well, is when you're printing stuff up, uh, you're restricted typically to about 45 degrees overhang like this, or about a two and a half centimeter bridge between two objects. So if you're building stuff out like this, you can draw a bridge across, uh, and the, the machine can bridge a gap of about two and a half centimeters. Anything further than that, and the plastic will droop between those two things, and it won't look nice. Uh, and a 45 degree angle you could build out like this, like that earth that's going around, uh, the, uh, the base is there, and then it actually built the sphere out like this, and it built that without supports, and it was fine. Uh, but if you start, like if you wanted to print this thing upside down, theoretically you could do that, but it's such a small base that as you're printing it up, it would actually probably fall over. Bad things would happen. So instead, you print it in this direction. You print it upright like that, and then it builds a big base, and then layer by layer makes it smaller and smaller, and it's far more stable on the print base itself. Uh, you can tell the printer to print an object in any orientation, but if you choose something that isn't natural like this, then it'll build support material in order to, in order to support the machine that, that you're printing. So if you're doing something like that, if you're, where's the <coughs> thing? Yeah, so if we're printing something like this, that would work okay, but if I were to print something, you know, if I were to, to undo, 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 and make this instead, you know, go way out like this, way out here, this would, let's see, Just for fun, we're going to play with this. So, oops. Uh, yeah. Oh, that's why. <laughs> See, I thought I was making it flat like that, but in fact it was wrong. So, uh, let's do it this way instead. I'm going to draw that line along the red direction. Now, if you're drawing like this and you are you don't know which axis you're drawing along, you can actually fix to a particular axis. See the difference here? This is on the green axis, which is going out towards the back of the screen. And if I move just a little bit, it's on the red axis, which is going out that way. I can use my arrow keys to fix it to the red axis, and I don't have any, any ambiguity there. Or I can fix it to the blue axis or the green axis uh, somehow, yeah. But I want it on the red axis, uh, just because I'm doing this other demo thing that we're going to look at. So what I've done is I've just added sort of an overhang. We're going to make an odd looking ball. Space thing. Get rid of that. <coughs> make this odd vase. I can go this way. Whoa! So there's the odd vase, it's only three quarters of the way through, but it would still, if you cover that end up, it would print. Now this stuff here, if you tried to print this way, this stuff wouldn't print, right? If you're printing, 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 and suddenly there's a print head is here, there's nothing to lay on top of it, it would just dangle the, the material and be bad. So it, if you told the print, print this like this, it would build up support material here, a lot of sacrificial support material, uh, and then you would have your material. But if you wanted to print an object like this instead, Here's your object, you want to print it. Think about sort of the way gravity would have an effect on this thing. The way, the best way to print it in this case is to take the whole thing and actually print it upside down. Right? There's no problem with that. Because once you pluck it off of the print bed, you can flip it over yourself. So you print it like this, that way you don't need any support materials here, and this stuff would print just fine. So thinking about the orientation in which the printer is most likely to uh, be successful is another part of that whole process. <clears throat>